Our boat landed on the southern shore of a long lake. The few people living there called this town Clay. Three roads left the town. We decided to construct a red list of towns and their shortest distances from Clay. To start, the shortest distance from Clay to Clay is zero miles. That's obvious. We put that on the list. We sent scouts to follow the three roads and report back. They came back. They had walked to a town named Bray, one mile away, to a town named Sam, four miles away, and to Foss, also four miles away. We collected the information about the distances to these three new towns in a blue table. We couldn't put them in the red table because we didn't know whether they were the shortest routes to those towns. After studying the blue list and looking at the map, it was clear that the shortest road to Bray was one mile. But there might be shorter roads to Sam and Foss, perhaps going through Bray. Since we now knew the shortest road to Bray, one mile, we moved that information to the red table. But now we had to look at roads leaving Bray. We asked the scout who went there how many roads left Bray. Two, he said. We sent scouts to find the towns at the end of those roads. The scouts came back. There was a one-mile road to Sam, and a five-mile road to a new town, Tate. That was interesting. We had found a shorter road from Clay to Sam, only two miles long. So we changed the shortest known Clay to Sam distance to two, and added the shortest known distance from Clay to Tate, which was six miles. Again, from the blue list and the map, we knew that the shortest distance from Clay to Sam was two miles. There could not be a shorter road. There were no more roads leaving Clay and Bray, and any path from Clay through Tate or Foss would be longer than four miles. We began to understand the following. Choose a node in the blue set with minimum distance. In this case, Sam. That distance is the shortest distance from the start node to that node. So, we moved Sam to the red list and sent scouts out to find town's neighboring Sam. There was only one to a new town called Beer. We added that information to our blue table. We were tired and stopped for the day. You can see that the towns are partitioned into three sets. First, a red set called the Settled Set, S. For each town in this set, the shortest distance from the start town is known. Second, a blue set called the Frontier Set, F. These towns have been visited at least once. The shortest distance from the start town to each of those towns is known over roads that were traversed, but there might be shorter roads that haven't yet been traversed. Third, a black set called the Far Off Set. These towns haven't been visited yet.